final episode of the Gospel According to Mark. Yes, that is right. We have reached the end of Mark's Gospel. Can you believe it? We have learned and looked at so much about Jesus' life, mm -hmm. who he is, what he has done over the past 15 chapters. Now for the final chapter. As we know from our last episode, boys and girls, Jesus was buried in a tomb covered by a huge stone. Which means no one can get in or out. And we begin the final chapter with the woman who followed Jesus coming to his tomb on the third day to anoint his body with spices because his body would start to smell. But how exactly are they going to move that big stone away? Well, to their surprise, the stone already had been rolled away. An angel of the Lord had came and rolled the stone away and was sitting in the tomb. Let's read what he says to them in Mark chapter 16, verse 6 and 7. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where he was See the place where they lay him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him, as he said to you. So wait, hold the phone, hold your horses, calm your jets now. Are you telling me that Jesus is alive? Yes, Jesus is risen from the dead. Well, it's, so he's, our, our Lord and Saviour has conquered the grave. He's conquered our sin, is that what you're telling me? Yep. Nice. This means that all of us who believe in him and what Jesus has done by conquering the grave will be with him in heaven for eternity. Woohoo! And we know this to be true because the disciples, the women, and many of Jesus' followers saw him and spoke to him after he had been resurrected from the grave. And we also have the four gospels and the rest of God's word itself that proves Jesus is alive. Yay! But before we can be with him in heaven, Jesus has given us a very important job to do here on earth. So let's see what he says in verses 15 and 16. And he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. So we must go into all the world, to every continent, country and city and preach the gospel. We need to tell everyone, and I mean everyone, all about Jesus, who he is, what he's done, his compassion, his love, his wisdom, and how he has saved people from their sins. This is our mission as believers. This is the Great Commission. So, where's Jesus now? He sits in heaven at the right hand of God right now, today. Praying for us. Well, that brings me great peace and joy to know that Jesus is there with God praying for us. And I hope that makes you feel that way as well, boys and girls. So on that great and joyful note, boys and girls, that brings us to the end of Mark's gospel. But it is not the end of our journey as Christians, because there is lots more to learn about God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. But for now, boys and girls, let's thank God and pray to him for everything that we have learned today. Heavenly Father, I thank you for today, Lord. Thank you for your word. And I thank you for what we have learned this day. I thank you so much for the Gospel of Mark and for this video series that we have done. I pray that the boys and girls will be blessed by their understanding of you and your word, God, that they grow in that, that they grow in their faith, Heavenly Father. I just thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who did die on that cross for our sins, who took that payment upon himself, Lord, who rose again from the dead so that we may have eternal life with you in heaven. And I thank you so much for that, God, and I praise you for that. I pray the boys and girls will understand that as well, God. And we thank you for all these things, Lord, and pray for all these things in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. And everybody says, Amen. Well, boys and girls, that's all we have time for today. But remember, as always, we read God's Word, we listen to God's Word, and we stay strong in God's Word.
Yes, we've learned so much and looked at so much about so much of so much and of the so much. I did so well, yes. yeah. To their surprise, the stone hall ready there. The stone hall ready. Telling me that Jesus is living down there for every day. Is alive. Or I could dub it for you. Mm -hmm. So where is Jesus now? They're a bit, they're a bit funny looking. They're watching us. <laughs> <laughs>